job of just sticking with what we've been doing, you know, all postseason long. And, uh, you know, shots didn't go in early, but, uh, you know, we did a great job of grinding it out. We played great defense and, and just stuck with it, you know, and then things started going our way. Who praise you. Jesus is the one who saves you. Give up your life, join his crew. You may not know him, but he loves you. Listen now, take the way, come and follow the Savior's way. Just one life to live, gotta be saved. Going on a mission, gotta be brave This is hard work, can't you see this? Persecution got us twisted, but you know we won't cave Follow every sign to the freeway Leave all your sins, no need to pay If you get lost and regroup Turn around, it's not too late Follow him, this can't wait I'm gonna worship loud for my Yeah, I mean, we, we just don't quit as a unit You know, we, we keep pounding, keep pounding, keep pounding And grinding and you know, uh, and then we finally got there, you know, but, but there's no quit in our team, you know. I don't think uh, it's really in our DNA at all, any of our guys. Hey. Why not let him in? He knows you. Knocking at the door to the rescue. Jesus on the scene but can't break through. Then you start to cry, come clean, no issue. Break every chain, do it right now. No time to waste, let your guard down. Trust in his name, worship his crown, lay it all on the ground. When you hear his sound, yes, the word that lasts forever. My God is coming back, he's so clever. Catch up on the word now each day. Take time, gotta do it, all you got at least pray. Like you said, there's no perfect way to replicate the environment in that situation. And we, we did, we scrimmaged, we, we played against coaches, we had token defense. You know, we went as far to, as creating jerseys, you know, with the rap and numbers on him so we could have you know like our mind was in the right place we were we were playing with a lot of energy playing with toughness again shots weren't going down but you know we were in a much better place from the get-go than we were uh game one against that's a beat huh uh-huh yeah let's go i'm gonna worship loud for my savior I'm a worship loud for my savior. Savior, here we are to praise ya. I'm a worship loud for my savior. Come on, worship loud for my savior. I'm a worship loud for my savior. Savior, here we are to praise ya. A couple key turnovers. Uh, missed some um, easy layups, some wide open threes. And, um,. Didn't play too well on defense. So I made up scoring the highest quarter of points in the fourth, 32 points. And um, offensive rebounds pretty much summed it up. Everywhere I go, I see the ball, ball. Fucking with the people, can't seem to get involved. I can't take it no more. Everywhere I go. I see the po po Fuckin' with the people, can't seem to get enough I can't take it no more Everywhere I go I see the po po Fuckin' with the people, can't seem to get enough I can't take it no more Am I to take Just better defense uh, You know, hopefully we can make some of our open looks Had a lot of clean looks in that second half and, um, you know, we got to limit them. Um, can't, they can't have these many offensive rebounds, especially. Am I
Am I detained? If not, let me go. Yeah. Everywhere I go, I can't stand a po-po. Dressed in black, maybe blue. Makes me sick. What about you? Riding by with my crew. Hands up, don't shoot. I was chilling on the sea. Messed up on some cream. Faded. Rolled another one to get down for my team. The boys on a mission title, fuck the police. No disrespect, but you don't own the streets. Hey. We come into a city near you, believe me. Coming. Revolution on our minds in every damn yes, city. Sir. Americans have an urge to always live in peace. Free. Try and play with this, and you be R.I.P. Peace. Everywhere I go. I um, I mean, it could be, but there's no excuses. Um, we all out on the floor. Like I said, we, we had open looks that we could have made. Um... You know, we started off the game well, just didn't finish it up too great. Can you feel the po-po when they knocking at your toe? Can you feel the po-po when they creeping real slow? People wake up, wake up, and learn to be free. Come on, get up, get up. Just stand on your feet. There's a price to be free. Keep fighting, let's see. A nation rising up together, one love for country. I love Trump, but not police. I know I know confusing, but I never said I'm normal like a bee. I might sting. Bring it on, bring it on till the break of dawn. When the cops pull you over, sit back and yawn. Learn the law, know the law, then you feel so. When it gets disrespected, make the call, make the call everywhere. What up, what up, what up? This your boy, Chris Cross 304, checking in. Another good night of basketball last night. Not many games now, only four teams left. So you got one game each night, pretty much. And on some nights, you won't have any games. And eventually, we get to the NBA championship, you'll have several nights with no basketball games. Which brings in the summer, baseball takes the forefront. And we go from there as we progress forward to uh, the NFL season kicking off. Right, preseason in August, September, the season officially gets started. So we got some time before that happens. So right now, all eyes on the NBA and basketball. We saw two days ago the Warriors won game one. They'll play game two tonight. We'll talk about that in the second segment. But last night, big, big game between the Bucks and the Raptors. Game could have went either way. It's an only an eight-point game. Bucks win, 108 to 100. They're now, well, in the regular season they were 60 and 22, and the Raptors were 58 and 24. So only two games separated these two teams uh, as the top two seeds in the East. So we saw a battle, a very competitive battle last night. On the winning side, Brooke Lopez led all, well, led uh, all scores on the Bucks with 29 points. 11 rebounds to assists. Big game for Brooke Lopez. And if he does that night in and night out, forget about it. This thing is over. Giannis, the Greek freak, Antetokounmpo, 24 points, 14 rebounds, and 6 assists. Not too far from a triple-double. Just needed a couple more assists, 4 to be exact, to get there. And really, if you look at him and any other player that puts up 20, it's going to be very tough to beat the Bucks. Middleton, 11 points, 11 rebounds. That's three players right there with double doubles. Brogdon off the bench, 15 points, three rebounds. He got 27 minutes. Someone that must play better for the Bucks, George Hill. Zero points in 27 minutes. 0 for 6 from the field and 0 for 1 from three-point land. So zero points, one rebound, four assists. So George Hill has got to play better. Mayor Titch didn't play bad, 13 points, six rebounds. As you shift over to the losing side, Raptors got some positive things, which is why this is a competitive game. Kawhi Leonard, 31 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, 10 for 26 from the field in 42 minutes, not bad. Siakam, 42 minutes, 15.6 rebounds. Gasol, 40 minutes, 6 points, 12 rebounds, 5 assists. Lowry, 40 minutes, 30 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. So Leonard and Lowry led all scores with Brooks Lopez, or Lopez in third. So that's the situation, and you see a theme there. Only three players coming off the bench for the Raptors. They're putting all the marbles on the table. They're not going deep into the bench. You have four players that were just named, and Lowry, Gasol, Leonard, and Siakam all playing over 40 minutes. Green, 35 minutes. That does not leave much room for the bench, which only dished in 40 total minutes between Powell, Abaca, and Van Fleet. 
five other players didn't even get off the bench. So the Raptors were all in, and we discussed this yesterday, and this is exactly what I thought would happen. The Bucks will win game one, but the Raptors are going to come back and win game two because now they're going to have to turn it up, and if they don't, they're in trouble. You know, it's not it's not fun to go back home knowing you must win two games or risk going back uh, to the home court advantage team down 3-1 in game five. So this is a big game for the Raptors, bigger for them than the Bucks. it could be argued. So this is going to not really a must win, but they – they really need this victory on Friday night. So that's the situation. When we come back from the break, we'll talk about, in segment two, who do you like tonight, Warriors or Trailblazers? Can the Trailblazers come back and get a win tonight? It'd be a big story if they did. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. Kids, then you better wake up. Make your mind up. Make your mind up. Want to see your kids, then you better speak up. The law took my daughter, said get a second job Now she's being raised by two selfish broads who capitalized off me then tried to make me stop The game so twisted gotta sound the alarm Father dismissed but I'm trying to stay calm Emotion explosion say atomic bomb They got my little girl but the gun's so strong I can't even think this shit's so wrong Let me see my girl before I tear stuff up I only have one wish to see her grow up Drive across town just to be stood up I'm tired of the shit, it's so fucked up Can't lose control, I gotta stay strong I need to see my daughter, it's been so long They took her right from me, so I wrote this song The system screwed up, I ain't did nothing wrong I have a right to raise my daughter, cause God says so I have a right to raise my daughter, constitution says so I have a right, yeah that's my right I have a right, yeah that's my right I have a right to raise my daughter, cause God says so I have a right to raise my daughter, constitution says so I have a right, yeah that's my right I have a right, yeah that's my right Back the hell up, cause we wanna raise our children I'm speaking for the men who you locked up in prison They guilty of a crime, called impregnating women Try to start a family, now they caught in the system Let them out of prison, make your babies ain't a crime Fatherlessness, just to make a dime Men in jail, why you sipping on wine? What about the kids, they'll be just fine Where is my father, have you seen him anywhere? I heard he ran away, and just don't care Raised by one parent, please don't stare Child support, so unfair I'd rather have my dad, but instead you send a bill Money can't raise him, now they shoot to kill Stand right there, don't move, stay still Count all the money and get your fill I have a right to raise my daughter, cause God says so I have a right to raise my daughter, constitution says so I have a right, yeah that's my right I have a right, yeah that's my right I have a right to raise my daughter What up, what up, what up, this your boy Chris Cross 304 Checking back in. You're listening to the community. We're now in segment two. And in segment two, we're going to discuss, as you can see there in front of you, on the screen, Trailblazers or Warriors tonight in game two. And you see the emoji there. It's a, a good question and something we need to talk about. Same as the Raptors will be facing in game two. The Trailblazers need a win and some momentum and to take back home court advantage if they can win tonight, but they need a win in order to avoid going home down 0-2. And then you're in a situation where you must, must, must win games 3 and 4. You cannot go back to the home court advantage team down 3-1. It's real simple because percentages show you're probably not going to win that series. Yeah, number one, you have to win three in a row. And number two, got to win two of those three at the other team's home court and that's very difficult for any team at any round at any level of the playoffs so trailblazers big game for them tonight more on the line really than the warriors so you're going to see a the best effort you can get from the trailblazers tonight which means this is a game you want to watch a lot of times the home team will win game one but the road team in game two is fighting for their lives and not to be put in a position where they can easily be eliminated by losing one of two at home. So that's a, that's a situation for the Trailblazers. You're going to need some big games from their key players like Damian Lillard, C.J. McCollum, Rodney Hood, which was good news that he was back for game one after getting injured in game seven and leaving, not returning. So you're going to need Rodney Hood, 
C.J. McCollum, and Damian Lillard to all be in the 20-point category or more. You're going to need Cantor to crash the boards. You're going to have to play very good defense against a Warriors team that passes the ball very well. And you know what? Give them the open jumper inside the three, but take away the three-point attempts. Force them to make shots and take two-point buckets when this team really just wants to shoot threes. And if they can get open threes on the good passing, it's lights out. It's like shooting practice. So Trailblazers really need to step up their effort defensively and get key games in the rebound category from Cantor and uh, 20 points or more from Lillard, McCollum, and Rodney Hood. That's what it is. Stay tuned. After this break, we'll talk about the Jets firing their GM. Can you believe that? Just before the season's getting ready to get started. This is your boy Chris Cross, 304. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with you. You're listening to the community. When they say who you pray, say Jesus. Yeah. When they ask who you love, say Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. up in the morning praising God, that's for certain. Yes. First I get some things cause I'm saved, not burning. Hey. Then I stretch my arms before putting in work. Yes. Yo. Gotta read out loud so the word is spoken. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes you know, I'm learning. learning. Focused on the day that you might be returning. Obedient with some praise but still searching. Could it be today? Maybe so, hey. I'm yearning. Hey. I walk with Christ kinda hey. like I'm hey. on a date. On a narrow hey, path, hey, can't see, stay straight I fish hey, for a living hey, and his word is the bait Soon I'll be home until then I can't yeah. wait When they say who you pray, say Jesus yeah. When they ask who you love, say Jesus yeah. Jesus, yeah Jesus Praise him now Jesus, yeah Welcome back. This is your boy, Chris Cross 304. You're listening to the community. We're in segment three, our final segment of the day. Switching it around now to NFL news. And that's right. The NFL is just around the corner. It's a few months away. You're going to start hearing more stories come out every day about the NFL. But yesterday, a big one, the Jets fired their general manager. Head coach Adam Gase will now be the interim general manager. So you had a tough situation, even though Gase was fi- uh, hired excuse me, by the Jets. Because he's a guy that likes to make decisions. He's impulsive. He sees something he wants. He makes a decision. He wants it now. But you were dealing with a GM that many say. Of course, I don't, haven't met him or don't know personally. But from what others are saying, he's a little flimsy and took his time making decisions. And that doesn't mix well with someone that's impulsive. So the Jets had to make a decision. They just brought in a new coach. So the GM is out. And it begs the question, do you need a general manager? Of course, every team has one. Someone gets paid for it. But do you really need a general manager if you you believe in your coach? Your coach can easily serve as a general manager. Now, I'm sure the Jets are going to go out and get one and not give Adam Gase total uh, control. Uh, But it does beg the question again, is a general manager necessary? Because to me, and, you know, I'm a Dolphins fan. And I'm very glad we got Brian Flores now. It's very exciting going forward. But I liked Adam Gase as our coach. And he only had three years and should have been given more time and more control. So there's nothing wrong with the Jets doing what they're doing. But if they're going to get rid of their GM to bring in another one, that's it seems like a mistake to me. Knowing what type of coach Adam Gase is, coached three years with the Dolphins. We didn't uh, make the playoffs recently, but... You could tell the team was getting better and headed in the right direction. There's no question. Sometimes in the NFL and in many other sports, they don't give you enough time as a coach to make things happen. But if you're the Jets, go ahead and give this guy full control. That makes me nervous as a Dolphin fan. I like when the other, when the someone in the same division as the Dolphins is in a disagreement in the front office because it takes away from the field. So 
If you're the Jets, go ahead and give Adam Gase total control. And to me, that's dangerous for the AFC East as the Patriots wind down their, their run with Tom Brady and have to look to the future here soon. Who's going to rise up? Jets, Dolphins, Bills? That's the question. So if you're the Jets, go ahead and make a big move here and let Adam Gase run uh, the team, both as a general manager and head coach. He has very good coaches around him, specifically a former head coach as his associate head coach. So he has time and doesn't need to not necessarily be there for practice and all that. Of course, he's got to be there for those things. But he has people around him that are going to be working very well for him. So he has some time uh, to be the GM because he's very organized. So there's some rumblings yesterday the Jets shouldn't have made this move and what's going to happen now. Nothing. Let Adam Gage run the team and move on. And I think that's a good thing for the Jets. It's your boy Chris Cross 304. And you're listening to the community. We'll see you tomorrow. Holla back. And this is the venture the community is the venture. And this is the venture the community is the venture. And this is the venture the community is the venture. And this is the venture the community is the venture. And this is the venture the community is the venture. And this is the venture the community is the venture. And this is the venture the community is the venture. This is the venture the community is the venture. And this is the venture the community is the venture. This is the venture the community is the venture. And this is the venture the community is the venture. We have a bad break, 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 we have